New at five, big news in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Rolling out a pay to park plan in the Smokies. Leaders call it the Park It Forward program. It is set to start next year. There it is on your screen. One full day would cost $5, a seven day pass, $15, an annual pass, $40. Leaders in the Smokies expect the parking plan will bring in another 10 to $15 million for more staff and upkeep in the park. A key question, why now? Well, you can see some striking statistics on your screen. The Smoky Mountains is the most visited national park with more than 14 million people in 2021. More than triple the visitors to the Grand Canyon. The Smokies is the only national park of its size with no admissions fee. 10 News reporter Caitlin Keenahan spoke to the park superintendent about these sweeping changes and the proposal on the table, Caitlin. It could see some adjustment, but it's on the table now. Yeah, John, that's right. It is on the table, um, but this is a multifaceted proposal, meaning nothing is set in stone yet, and there's a lot of moving parts to it. The biggest part is that the park is open for feedback. They want to hear from you um, and us about what we think about this plan. Now, the big thing is that they want to bring more money into the park to expand the park's budget so that they can afford to fix things like infrastructure. And um, visitors have increased tenfold over the past 10 years, um, yet the budget has remained a flat line. That's why they're trying to increase this budget in whatever way possible. The park said they think this new park it forward pro proposal is a reasonable way to increase that budget and keep visitation numbers just as high. It's designed not to have an effect on and uh, visitation, which is why we were very um, uh, price sensitive uh, to how we laid this out that, you know, we understand that there's um, as diverse of people that use this park, so are there a social economic background. The goal would be to use that money generated by the parking passes to invest in new upgraded infrastructure and facilities. The park said much of the infrastructure is over 60 years old. They also want to hire more park rangers to keep up with the growing demand. Now, as I mentioned, this potential $5 a day parking pass is not set in stone. The park wants to hear your feedback about what you think about this proposal and uh, what other options they may have. Um, we have online on WBIR.com. You can find out how to put your opinion forward and uh, you can ask us questions as well and we'll try and get those answered for you. John? Caitlin, we'll check back with you tonight at 6 o'clock and Caitlin mentioned the budget as well as the use and here is some perspective. Take a look. One graphic really helps explain the reason leaders in the Smokies say they need more money from the public. It is two parts. Now part one shows this 10 year period from 2011 to 2021 and you see the number of visitors grew exponentially from 9.7 million in 2012 then to 11.3 million in 2016 and then 14.1 million in 2021. You see that is a 57% increase. Now let's add on part two. This is the budget line. You can see it's flat over the last decade. $19 million right here in 2012. Then four years later, roughly the same amount and up just 8% over this 10 year stretch when you look at 2021. The bottom line is park leaders say the Smokies are getting loved to death. Trail upkeep and services can't keep up with the spike in demand. Now, Friends of the Smokies is a nonprofit group dedicated to preserving and protecting the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We spoke to the executive director of that group. They support the parking plan, saying overall it will benefit visitors. People love to give back to like the Walker Sisters Cabin and historic historic structures all throughout the park, both in North Carolina and Tennessee. And seeing that continue to do instead of just supporting the day to day efforts that the park needs funds for, this helps us continue to uh, support the, the special projects that make the visitor experience even greater. Since 1993, Friends of the Smokies has raised more than $75 million for projects in the National Park.